today I am going to Mitsubishi uh, Industrial Museum. Though I don't have any plan to visit the museum, uh, we are just walking towards the World Quarter and suddenly we found the Industrial Museum and our Chishman want to visit this place. So let's see what's inside the museum. Let's explore. The Mitsubishi uh, Minatomira Industrial Museum. So let's go inside. So you need to collect a ticket from here and the ticket price is 500 yen for adults. So are you excited to see yes. this one? Yes. Yeah. When, when this engine has been out of fuel, uh -huh. it, this whole thing would be, be separated. Okay. Only, only that would be remaining and that engine would be fuel to the space. Fire. And it would go more up and into the white capsule in the front. Okay. There are the human cells. Now we are moving towards the inside. I think there will be more exciting things inside. Uh, trains. Train? Yeah. I know this one. Right. Oh, really? Yes. And See, Archishman? Move the walls forward. Wow! Oh, it's a space show. Wow! This one. It's amazing. Can you see that? Yeah, I can't see. It's our plane. So Mitsubishi, whatever they make, they have shown everything here. Wow, this will be a great experience for the kids. Mitsubishi Space Jet. Wow. These are really incredible. Means uh, not only kids, but uh, we also love to see everything. Yes, Achishman, just tell me how you feel about this place. Very good. And see this window, okay? Yeah. See this window. Yes. See, Achishman is there and I am here. It's really nice, you know? Yes. The kids really love to explore how these things are. Now I am also entering. They have the stairs and that's why I'm just entering from here. It's like a mini aircraft, even they have shown uh, this luggage counter, the seat and the main thing means uh, all the kids, even we also so much uh, love to see the cockpit. Even we don't know, we never go inside of the cockpit because this uh, area only belongs to the pilots. They actually create the ambience that uh, how you feel inside of the cockpit. There are so many switches and here also means how to fly the aircraft. It's so nice. Yes. So nice. Rocket engine factory. Wow. Rocket engine factory. Artishman becomes mad to see his favorite place. Overview of H2A, a large scale launch vehicle, is designed to economically and reliably meet a variety of launch needs, such as those for satellites and transportation to the International Space Station, ISS. You can see there is three support engines. Okay, so first the support engine will ignite. Then the support engine when finished, then the main booster, it will ignite. Then it will go to the outer space. Then there is a middle portion which will be detached and left in the sky space. Then there is a oxygen tank in the middle. So oxygen tank will give the fuel. Then at the upper portion you can see the satellite. 
which need to be put in the orbit, which means uh, means around to the Earth or the Moon or any other planet. So and the this top thing is actually, the see, uh, it's actually rotating. Mama, come here, see. You oh see. yeah, so this first, is. So first, this small white one, it separated, yeah. burn out, then separated, then the lower yellow one, burn out, and then it will project the satellite in the orbit uh, payload yes. basically called payload yes. the blue this color is, is the payload ah, this one uh, mama okay. see these are the metals yes these are the metals yes and the sheet is so thick you see there is two oh engine kept here this is one another kept there this yes. the outer part is called the nozzle skirt you know mama and that will take the all the heat is a nozzle scar then after that the main combustion unit where the fuel will be burned and okay. it will be out so very complex yeah very complex. yeah it's a really very complex ah, thing ah. but uh, then also at least uh, we can see isn't it so here it is mentioned so he is the nozzle scar then this is a pre burner this place then main combustion chamber at this place liquid oxygen turbo pump which will put push the oxygen to the main engine mm -hmm. then liquid hydrogen also liquid mm -hmm. oxygen liquid hydrogen pump okay. so hydrogen and oxygen both will be pumped into the engine ah oh, thanks to milton <laughs> artishman wants to say something as because he is very much interested about the space so artishman tell why why this metal doesn't melt why it doesn't melt because mm, through this mm, up up heat, these uh -huh. are actually the pipes uh -huh. these are spikes spike okay pipe and and from here yeah. there comes li liquid oxygen <coughs> and that keeps this metal cool oh correct. wow <laughs> correct I am so surprised that Achishman explained uh, so nicely that uh, how this uh, thing means uh, it becomes cooled by liquid oxygen. Oh God, uh, these little kids! <laughs> I really don't have any idea. Video. Oh, you were in the video. Oh wow! I think there is a camera over there. That's why you are in the video. Now see, uh, see oh. the helipad. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. Now see, first that one, the air machine, then the um, helicopter, then the. So here you can see the domestic passenger flight yeah. will fly at five kilometer above the sea level. At the ten kilometer. Uh -huh. हिमावारी सेवन I like these space things. Oh no. This is pretty nice, you know. I wish I can spend more time here. I hope I will come again to see everything nicely. There are so many things. I think you cannot see within a one hour or two hour. 
Wow, what is this? I think this is a submarine. Submarine, can you see? I never been any submarine though. I was in the flight. We can see uh, the interior of the flights, but we cannot visit the uh, submarine. You can see the Shinkai 6500. This one is a uh, interior part of uh, a submarine. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. You can see the submarine means uh, you cannot visit any submarine means uh, obviously we can't go inside of any submarine. But here if you visit the industrial museum, then you can see the interior of a submarine. So this is pretty interesting, isn't it? There is a windmill also. Going to the first floor. Let's see what is inside it. Nuclear power, transport, logistic, calling thermal power, wind power. Ah, it's a Mitsubishi LNG carrier. Ah, it's a LNG carrier. Ah so many things this is a very good place for kids this is the combustion chamber wind power ah so many things here is a replica of geothermal mm -hmm. power plant so japan is you know full of volcanoes hills with onsens so ah. A area, many area will get this kind of geothermal energy eruption. Okay. So there, you can see the image here. Yeah. So it is tapping the geothermal energy from the bottom. So and it will ultimately convert to the energy to the steam, means water to the steam, and finally get the electricity. So ah. many plant in Japan. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So many volcanoes. Yes. And you can. Mega Ninja truck. A mega Ninja yeah, truck. Mega, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so many wheels. <laughs> yeah, Artishman loves Ninja and Artishman loves vehicles too. It is also have a power plant inside this so it can generate electricity. Oh, so ah. two fans. Two yeah. fans. And what about this one? So basically, it's reactor. a reactor of steam generator or nuclear reactor. Oh, this is a 130 scale complex. model of reactor containment vessel that includes the main equipment of a pressurized water reactor nuclear plant. Yes. Yeah, so everything is done by Mitsubishi. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. I think you should visit this place and see how incredible these things are, means how these engineering things they make. This, this is a gas turbine. So oh. wherever natural gas available, you can put. So, they are supplying the gas turbine to the in many countries in the entire world. Uh -huh. So this gas turbine can withstand, it is written, 1600 degrees centigrade, these blades, wow. nozzles. So, so the this plate can withstand 1600, 1600 special material. Energy from natural gas is a clean energy, so mm -hmm. less, you know, pollution. Ah, so everybody okay. going for natural gas, gas uh -huh. turbines. Uh -huh. really very complicated though I find this place very interesting because it's full of technology and I think you should visit if you are coming to Japan please don't miss to visit this place if you are very much interested in uh, science and technology then I think you should visit this place 
Now again we are going down. We are uh, almost to reach to the closing time. Three o'clock they will close this place. So please uh, always keep it in the mind that you have to come little bit early because there are so many things to see. So wow, wow, it's so nice, amazing. Can you see this model of the trains? Wow, these are really awesome. Oh my god, there are so many things to see. This is the gas turbine, it's written, it's scaled down. City. Oh, Future really? City. Okay. Wow, yes. Japan can do this. So, in the in the sea area, you can see wind turbine, yeah. the floating uh, houses, yeah. then the hydro generation plant, and the solar system all are in the future city. Yes, so no in the pollution. future. Yeah. Then come here, this side. It is a uh, 500 meter ton. And this is also future city, so turbine, future wind turbine, city. Wow. then solar panel, wind turbine, wow. then gas turbine. Okay, so the Are metro you rail. Yeah. You see the tower in the middle that also yes. have energy yeah, management it's written system. Energy management system. So, so EV uh, parking, electric. Electric parking and electric commuter, electric vehicle parking. So many. So basically, Mitsubishi want to show that they have all kind of solution. How can you see? Time sir. Time sir. Inside of the trains, you can see it's like uh, they just cut and they just try to show what is inside of the trains. There are so many different types of airplanes. Yeah, Mama, do you know these are the planes used in World War One and World War Two? Oh, really? And, yes. How do and you know these are used in World War One and Two? Oh, it is written. Oh, okay, okay. It is 1922. Wow, this one? 1922. Wow. Japan is so advanced that time, you see. Oh, yeah. And those are latest plane, I think. Like F-16, it is F-40, T-2, wow. like this. Oh, these are really cool. Mm. Achishman becomes crazy to see. Oh, Achishman. 1942. During the world war See, you can uh, see how gradually these things evolved. So these are LNG big vessel. Helicopters. Oh. Also, these are warship. These are submarines. Submarine wow. aircraft. Submarines. So many What's different types of train. So if you are visiting Japan, don't forget to visit this place. Uh, this Mitsubishi Industrial Museum is really amazing. I didn't imagine that uh, it will be so nice. I mean, so we can explore so many things. If you want to know that how science and technology uh, grows gradually, then I think this place is good for you. So please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to get more new video updates. Thank you for watching this video.